Hello, for those of you who do not know me, my name is Erin, and I'm about to give you a tour of my house. About a week ago, we decided to list our house for sale. Within four days from that moment, it was listed and for sale. So you guys are getting a rapid tour from the day we put up listing photos. So it is not perfectly staged. It is not exactly how I would have it for a room reveal or for the blog. This is very lived in, very quick, but I still feel like it gives you a really great view of the house. We purchased this home four years ago. It was in absolute shambles and we have fully renovated it. I absolutely love it. It's in the most charming part of Missouri. Like it is just a dream home, but we are moving across the country to Charleston. So I will give you this house tour for those of you who have been supporting my page and following me. I so appreciate you guys. You've stood by me through this whole renovation and through everything that came with it, including HGTV and all of that. So I'm excited to show you kind of the end result. And then when we get to the next house, I will do a empty house tour and I'll show you kind of the bare bones of what we will be working with next. It is not going to be the full renovation project this house was. With four little ones at home, we are trying to lean into a slightly slower season of life, but you know your girl's going to have to put wallpaper in most of the rooms and just fully decorate it. That's really what brings me joy. So without further ado, here is a full tour of this historic home. Coming in the front door, this is the view you're greeted with. We bought this house four years ago, did a full renovation. The house was built in 1865. The stairs and the spindles are original and are probably my favorite thing about the house. I think that they're absolutely beautiful. Off to this side is our kids' playroom. This has had so many versions <laughs> while we've lived here, um, but we're absolutely loving this one. And then we added built-ins here for storage. In true real life, so I'm gonna show you guys um, the laundry room, everything. So everything that's finished and everything that's not. Um, this bathroom we fully renovated. It's a little weird. The door opens outward um, because it's such a tiny bathroom, but with a lot of like very specific pieces, it's actually a really functional, great bathroom now. Um, don't mind me looking a mess, but has a great, full shower and it is like the cutest bathroom spacious ish laundry room just we've done nothing with it <laughs> most of the time it's just full of stuff but um this was honestly our next project so whoever buys our home they will have you know a fun little project ahead and there's a door to the outside one of two gas fireplaces that we added to the house those built-ins and then these double doors back out to the entrance and then across the entrance is where I'm going to take you and this is what we consider our parlor and this room we just did wallpaper which makes me so sad Penny's perch she loves sitting there um, this is probably where we spend the most of our time and we absolutely love this room with the original archway back to the entry that archway leads to this dining room um, and then and we got a great dining room space, which we've loved. The kitchen, you guys see a lot of that on camera typically. Um, you guys ask all the time about the backsplash and the lights. The lights are custom, but the backsplash is under my house link section. It's a highlight on my Instagram if you are interested in the backsplash. It's beautiful. We truly love it. You have to take the name to a hardware store, but it's been great. And then this is like what we would consider like the hearth room. And this took so many tries to get it to like be very functional. You're working against some quirks with an old house and we absolutely love it now. And then the back of the house is over here. We'll go there, but here's the pantry, which I am very sad to leave. Our pantry is a dream. My office has been great. Over here. And then 
leads you straight to, I can promise you I'm going to yet again <laughs> use this wallpaper in pink color because I absolutely loved this. But this is our little powder bath. And then um, the back staircase and a better view of the mudroom. We actually just added these cabinets, so whoever is um, buying the house is in luck. But this is great because we just put a pool in as well, so they can store all like their pool towels and pool toys. That was the purpose for all the drawers and the cabinets, um, and then an extra fridge. So going back this direction, we will go up our black stairs um, to see the upstairs. Like I said, these are original steps, and they are just my favorite. At the top of the steps, we've got the primary bedroom and then all the kids' rooms. This is our oldest daughter's room, which we love. We have people watching, so she will miss this view, but it's been great for her. And then to our room. Over here is an attic. We're getting very real life, so my closet is not cleaned up, but we have a very, very tiny closet, as you can see, because this is an old house. This actually used to be a bedroom and we turned it into a closet. And then over here is our primary bedroom. It's, you know, nothing super exciting. Our primary bathroom. I love this space. That's an original clawfoot tub, a shower. Um, we love this room. Our vanity. And then back out to our bedroom. I'll link whatever sources I can in the description of this video as well as to my blog, which will help. This is Sweet Goldie May's room, which we love. I just finished this room, but I'm glad that we did it. And I'm glad that we like buttoned it up and everyone had this like sweet little room in this house. Um, her little dollhouse she got for Christmas is over here. And then our hallway. When we purchased the house, there was no hallway upstairs. And so we had this hallway created. I absolutely love the spot for their big photos. And then we've got sweet Jack's room. I typically, that says our last name. That was from Christmas. And I'm actually just leaving it because I feel like for showing photos, it was a little less like personal. <laughs> We're cleaning our barn out there. We have a barn. Um, this bookshelves. Cabinet, this is our laundry cabinet I share all the time. The girls' bathroom and then the boys. And the boys' bathroom has um, the door open outward because it's so small, but this was such a labor of love and I think it is so beautiful. And we just really thought through how to make this function really well. So I'm very excited that whoever gets this house will have this space. Here we're at the top of the pink steps. Over here is the girls' bathroom. Again, just such a sweet little space. I'm gonna miss that tile. I will probably eventually do that again somewhere. And then sweet little walkers room, which is one of my favorite rooms that I've done. It's just so fun. Coming down the pink stairs. So again, these are the original, um, I believe they were called servant stairs way back when. The infamous crap baskets. And we are back in the mudroom. And that's it. That is the tour of the house. It is, again, it has been such a pleasure to restore this house. It was built in 1865 and we truly brought it back to life. I feel like this was such an awesome step in our journey and I cannot wait for more people to live here. This was 
on the brink of being torn down. So just such a gem of a piece of real estate. I never thought we'd move from here, but that's not what we had in store and God had in store for us. So on to the next journey. But again, thank you for following along during everything in this house. And I'm excited to share what's next, whether it's decor, organizing, all of that in the next home.